All right, we're going to work this out in only two seconds. 30 squared minus 29 squared is going to equal 59. Now, how did I do that? Well, I simply added the 30 to the 29 to get me 59. Now, some of you may be wondering, why does that work? How can I simply just add those two numbers? Especially since we've actually got the subtraction symbol here. I'm going to be using some diagrams to show you how this works, but before we do that, let's check it on a calculator. 30 squared minus 29 squared does equal 59. Now, first of all, this will only work if the two numbers that you are squaring are one number apart. So let's take some other examples. 3 squared minus 2 squared is the same as going 3 plus 2, which equals 5. We can do this because 3 and 2 are one apart. 5 squared minus 4 squared will be 5 plus 4, which equals 9. Now, I promised you that I would use some diagrams to show you why this works. So let's just take 5 squared minus 4 squared. What does it mean to square 5 and to square 4? Well, when we square 5, we're basically taking a 5 by 5 square, which is actually filled with 25 little squares. 5 squared is the same as 25. 4 squared can be represented by a 4 by 4 square and is filled with 16 little squares. So what happens when we subtract these squares? Well, let's take the largest square and put the smallest square over the top. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to subtract or cut out this smaller square. What are we left with when we subtract or cut out this smaller square from the larger square? Well, we can quite easily count the number of squares left over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have a solution of 9, which is the same as taking 5 squares and adding 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. Let's go back to the original question. We know we're going to get a solution of 59. 30 plus 29 equals 59. Let's look at this using the diagram. Once again, we're going to take the larger 30 by 30 square, and we're going to subtract the 29 by 29 square. What's going to happen when we do this? Well, if we were to count the squares at the top, how many squares would you count? Now, it's a little hard to draw the squares, but we can see that we would count 30 of them because we are told there are 30 squares across. When we count the squares coming down, we would only count 29 of them. The reason we'll only count 29 of them is because this little square in the corner has already been counted. So there are only 29 left over. So we simply take the 30 squares and add the 29 to give 59 squares. You can see that this technique will only work when you square two numbers that are one apart and then subtract the squares. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.